you want to move from the US to Canada. It's one of the easiest countries to immigrate from in terms of Canadian immigration. It's as simple as snap of a finger. Whether you want to use Kuzma, the free trade agreement, or any of the other federal or provincial programs to move or set up your business in Canada, you're in the fast track lane applying from the US. Hello, my name is Reza and I work with the Ingway Canada licensed immigration team helping applicants to move to Canada. Whether it's for yourself, your kids, your business, or all of the above, we do make it happen. Let me make this clear, I'm not an actual full-time YouTuber, but I work hands-on with our licensed team here in Canada working on actual applications and communicating with immigration departments of Canada with their overseas embassies and inside Canada on a daily basis on behalf of our clients. These videos are made for the purpose of sharing our hands-on immigration knowledge with our worldwide audience. And if you're thinking about immigrating to Canada, we're here to help. Get a free email assessment with us by filling out the form down below for eligible applicants. So you may ask Reza, why is it easier to apply from the US to move to Canada? When applying from the US, you have access to all the business and investor immigration programs in addition to the Canada-US-Mexico agreement. I always mention that in terms of Canadian immigration, you are guilty until proven innocent. When applying from the US, this doesn't apply unless you have some serious issues in terms of breaking US immigration regulations or in terms of criminality. If you're a US citizen, it's even easier. Hop over anytime since you're visa exempt, come over and even if you've never set foot in Canada, your application will be approved just because you're American. Obviously, you do need to meet basic eligibility, but the barriers are so much less when comparing to other nationalities and the processing times are faster. So you may fall into one of the following two categories. You're a US citizen and you wanna move and apply for permanent residency in Canada, or you're on a temporary visa in the US and you wanna become a permanent resident in Canada and move over ASAP. Either way, you're in luck when applying from the US. You can come and study in Canada. You can get married to a Canadian, which is also super easy and good, unless you're married already, which in that case, I wouldn't recommend it. And of course, you can get a job offer from a Canadian employer, but like everyone knows, not everyone can get a job offer or wants a job offer to work for somebody else. Not everyone can marry a Canadian. <laughs> Maybe you're already married. <laughs> or not everyone is in the mood of studying again at ages like mine or yours. So here is the breakdown as a business owner, investor, entrepreneur. You can register your business in Canada remotely, fund a Canadian bank account, and immediately apply for a work visa to enter. The business could be a branch, a joint venture, a subsidiary, or even a startup business, whatever it is. Literally within a few months, you can come into Canada with your federal investor work permit. And of course, don't forget, your family can be with you and they can have open work permits and study for free in elementary and public high schools. You can also buy a Canadian business if that's what you fancy and enter Canada as an investor as well. So you have this additional option in applying, although it falls within a similar scope of setting up or moving a business in Canada. Here's an important point. Many people think, well, I can apply at the border as a US citizen. Yes, you can come to Canada and apply for an investor work permit at the border, but we don't recommend it. We recommend applying in advance through the Canadian Embassy in the US, whether it's New York, whether it's Los Angeles, or any of the other locations. Much easier than dealing with CBSA. They may not be in the mood and they have to go through all your documents one by one. Unless you like sitting around for four to six hours waiting for a decision at the border, we recommend applying at home, online, waiting for a decision, getting the approval, and taking up your work permit, not applying at the border. So you may ask, hey, I have a business concept, but no actual business. That's fine. Under any of these federal investor work permit, right, you can set up a business from scratch. And of course, we have the startup visa program as well, which is for brand new innovation business concept to set up in Canada. Now you're asking, how can I get my Canadian permanent residency, or also known as 
PR status. There's three ways to go about it. Come through the provincial nominee program for entrepreneurs. Not the best option for everyone, but that is the option. This means you can take the same route as the federal investor work permits, except that you're applying through the provincial program according to their eligibility criteria, which is typically more than the federal program's criteria. After they approve you based on your eligibility, business concept, and interview, and of course, net worth audit, they will nominate you for a work permit. You run the business and after specified time by the province, they can nominate you for permanent residency. The upside is you're inside Canada, working and living with your entire family and dependents until your permanent residencies are applied and processed. Option two, express entry. You may have heard of it. If you enter Canada with a federal investor work permit as a business owner or shareholder, we can convert you to permanent residency through this skilled immigration stream by giving yourself a job offer after one year of being on payroll and claiming bonus points. Sometimes we convert your spouse or partner to PR because they might be on your payroll in Canada and have a stronger profile for express entry than you have. And the beauty of all this, the whole family receives the permanent residency, no matter if you're inside of Canada or not. And this means your partner, spouse, and dependent children under the age of 22. The third way you could potentially obtain your permanent residency is through the other two federal economic programs called Startup Visa or Self-Employed Program. These programs are the only PR on arrival economic business programs anywhere in Canada. The processing times are slow for these two programs, but they do offer PR application plus optional work permit. So if you don't fancy the first two options I just explained to you for your PR, then consider these two programs if you are eligible. It should just be innovative, scalable, and have economic benefit for Canada. So if you're running a restaurant or a warehouse, this wouldn't really count on a startup visa. For the federal self-employed program, you need to be a professional with experience in art, culture, or sports to apply for. So whatever your profile is, there is always a custom solution possible. How much should I invest to set up or move my business to Canada? The answer to this varies since you're coming from the US. If you have good revenue and business activity and you're planning to move it over, under the Federal Investor Work Permit Program, we have to show significant economic benefit. If you can reroute your business here, then we can show that you're creating this and going to employ Canadians. That's enough. If your business is brick and mortar, well, you'll have to start from scratch. Typically a ballpark figure could be anywhere from 150,000 up to 250,000. And it all depends on your profile, your business and the region. And of course, the Canadian dollar is 30% approximately less value than the US dollar, which makes it relatively cheap for US applicants. For the startup visa program to Canada, you can get away with less investment, even having investors from outside. So it's not all about the money. So if you're not sure about your business and what you need to invest or set up to get these approvals and your PR or permanent residence in Canada, let us know and we'll tell you how to navigate these programs. Last question. How much time does it, does it take to get my work permit, the investor work permit or visa from the US? Well, it can take three to four months from the US, which is pretty good. How long does it take to get my PR card after I apply? Well, that takes minimum six months and maximum 18 months, which is the provincial program. Startup visa, it can go even longer. If you're thinking about immigrating to Canada through sponsorship, work, business, entrepreneurship, startups, you're in the right place. I can guarantee you only one point. You will know what to expect. The entire process clearly laid out for you. And all the risks identified, including all the costs and expenses. No surprises, just results. Our team speaks over eight languages and we have applicants from over 47 different countries during the immigration process. And this list is growing every day. Click the link below this video and get a free email assessment for eligible applicants. If you're ready to apply and would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me or one of my immigration team members at Ingway, you can also book a session directly using the consultation link in the description of this video as well. And if you have questions about Canadian immigration, we're here every week on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram on Thursdays, 11 a.m. North America Eastern Standard Time, where we answer all of your immigration questions for free on the spot. See you soon.